All right, you know how this goes. Let's kick it off with a fiddle tune before we jump into today's review. If you don't know what that tune is, that tune is called Encoradon, or the Spellman's Fiddle, depending on your source. Uh, but anyway, a tune I really like, one I've known for a long time and have forgotten about it and decided to play it today. Anyway, welcome back. If you don't know who I am, I'm Fiddlin' Johnny, and this is my fiddle channel, but also it is my magic product review, and I am doing something different today. Uh, I'm doing Biobender by Eric Jones. And this is not a new release, uh, but I'm doing today's review because one, you can find it at a really affordable price uh, compared to what its original manufacturer suggested retail price is. And I had a viewer who had asked about this product. And so anyway, I thought let's give you a value, uh, one on sale type of review today. So, all right, stick around. We're gonna get right into this. Hello everyone, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I'm Fiddle and Johnny. And uh, this review in my head is a little bit different than the rest. I thought I would um, do a review of a product that's been out for a while. Originally came out and was retailing just a little bit below $40. Uh, actually originally retailed at $39.95, uh, but now is only $19.98. Uh, through at least Penguin Magic, or that's where I found it. Um, and maybe this is a product you were considering originally, didn't want to spend the money, or was not something you were interested in. Uh, but I thought I'd go back to an older product that's now reduced uh, and might be something that you're interested in. And I, of course, I had a um, viewer who asked uh, some questions about it, and I decided I would go ahead and review Biobender. What the heck is Biobender by Eric Jones? So Biobender is the ability to bend coins at your fingertips, which is great for the mentalist to sort of give the perspective of like you're able to just bend metal with your mind. I think it's an effect that's always uh, can get really strong reactions. Um, and that's what Biobender does. And you can sort of put it through uh, whatever presentation that you want but that's what the effect is or what you're able to do with the tool that you get in Biobender. So let's talk a little bit about what you're going to get. You're gonna get this box and in this box, you're going to get two Biobenders and you get two Biobenders because you need both of them to be able to do the effect. And I'm gonna bring the Biobender up close so you can see what it is. And you're saying to yourself, well, Fiddlin' Johnny, that's just a thumb tip. And you're right, it is just a thumb tip, except it does have this device that is attached to the thumb tip, which is your bio bender. And by putting your coin in this little slot here will allow you, along with using the other one in tandem, allow you to bend your coin. So you're gonna get two bio benders. In uh, addition to that, you're also going to get this nifty looking little tool. And this tool here is a, and of course it's not in focus, is a keychain with a Phillips and regular head screwdriver on it so that if the bio bender does not fit on the, uh, fit your thumb on the thumb tip that came with it, you can detach it and attach the bio bender to a thumb tip that better fits your thumb. Uh, so in addition to that, yes, there's more. You're going to get a 37 minute tutorial uh, on how to use the bio bender. Uh, so that's what you're getting. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the instructions. And let me just start by saying, I'm going to just get rid of my regular format here and just chat with you a little bit about uh, the bio bender and my thoughts. 
Um, but um, so, but let's do talk a little bit about the tutorial. The tutorial, in my opinion, is about 75% good, 25% not so good. The 75% that is good is that, first of all, it's beautiful uh, and sounds great. It's got a two camera shoot. It's shot in what looks like probably Eric's uh, apartment or house uh, and it just looks great. So it's visually stunning to the eye and easy to follow because it has two cameras. You get great close-ups on his hands, which is really important for a lot of tutorials, which I really appreciate it. And you're gonna go through like, what do you get? You're gonna walk through the basic routine. It's gonna walk through what coins will and will not work uh, in the BioBender. And basically just a shortcut there, if uh, it works with any coin up to two millimeters in thickness, if it's greater than two millimeters in thickness, it will not work. I'm not gonna go through all the coins that work or do not work because those are listed in other places. You can go to the Magic Cafe and in the Magic Cafe, you'll find a discussion thread in there with all the sizes that do or do not work across the globe. Or you can go over to a fellow reviewer uh, over at Magic Orthodoxy. David has done a nice job of listing the coins from around the world that do and do not work in there. In short, most Euro coins do not work. Um, so anyway, uh, but uh, it covers the size of coin that works in there. I found that the thicker the coin, the more challenging the bend, the thinner the coin, the easier the bend. So you sort of have to think, what sort of coin would I want to perform with? Uh, and uh, usually larger size coins look better because your audience can see them. In the United States, if you're thinking, what about a 50 cent piece or a Kennedy half dollar? Too big, won't fit. All right. Uh, so also in the tutorial, you're going to get three live performances, which normally I would say three live performances is fantastic. This is where the 25% of not so good falls in my opinion. And it's not that they weren't shot in a way that they don't look pleasing and pleasant. It's that the critical piece that you didn't get really covered in the tutorial when uh, he's in the home space getting the tutorial is ringing in the tool and ringing it out. Uh, it was done as if it were a trailer, uh, the filming for the live performances, and it actually goes out of focus and sometimes out of frame at the critical point where we, who have now received the tutorial, know how the tool works, wants to see how he brings in and brings out the tool, and you just don't see it. It would have been nice to actually focus in on that because I think for somebody who is a beginner, like those are things like they worry about, like how am I gonna ditch this? How am I gonna bring this in so it looks natural and normal? I think uh, Eric Jones did a great job about how you make it look like when you're grabbing the coin and holding the coin and doing the bend to make it as look as fluid and as natural as possible. And the choreography that he does is really nice. That you see in both the tutorial and I think in the presentation itself but how you bring in and out the um, uh, gimmick or tool, it was just almost non-existent, it was not helpful at all. So that's a major sort of, you know, something to point out for you if you're considering this product. Uh, do I consider it a deal breaker? No, it's not a deal breaker, uh, but it might be for some folks and something that is important for you to know. So, all right, so I've talked about the tutorial, about what I think are the key things for you to know about uh, the tutorial. He is going to go through the basic routine, uh, which I think he did a nice job. I will also add, here's what I found. Um, I thought the tutorial was good. I then went into practicing my bends. When I did the bends, I thought this does not look as smooth as Eric's, uh, and it's a little harder than how it is described in the tutorial. I went back to the tutorial, reviewed it specifically on how to do the bend, realized that there was some subtlety that Eric touched on really nicely, but I just did not pick up on when I went to do it. So after watching it, went to practice more bends and definitely saw an improvement. Now with that said, it's still, mine does not look as great as Eric's does. And of course that's just because he's developed this tool. He's been doing it for a long time. I clearly need to put in more practice for it to look as smooth and as nice as it looks and as easy as he makes it sound in the tutorial. Um, so th that's okay. He does really address in the tutorial that you should expect to go out and like in the United States, buy a, a roll of uh, quarters perhaps or a roll of coins and just practice your choreography and your bend of those uh, coins because that's what it's going to take before it looks really good. So he also points out that plan to perform it or practice in front of real people and real audiences 
and plan to get caught. But in that process, you're going to learn how, where your um, weaknesses are so that you can do a better job. So I actually thought um, that's fair to say and probably what it needs. I think you'll get away with it. You'll feel clumsy in doing it, um, but will require the practice. I definitely found it challenging to do some of the bigger coins. I mean, as a good example, I don't know if you can see this on here, but I'll go ahead and do the bend. And you can see that, see, I didn't even get a bend. Let me try it like, here's my coin. I go to do the bend and that, I don't think I looked very smooth in doing that bend. I do like that I got a good bend here. If you can see that, the bend looks nice, but well, you're not going to see that, but at any rate, um, it, it doesn't look smooth. And that's because this guy still needs some practice on it. And you should expect it'll take more practice for you as well. Um, but it is as simple that you hold the coin, bring it towards you, and you've done the bend. At least that's how it's talked about. It does take practice. That does bring me to like, what is the skill level? It is technically beginner uh level. You just saw in terms of the move that it takes to do it. So it's a beginner level uh, type of uh, trick to do, but will require significant practice. Can I say that enough times? Practice, practice, practice. Um, all right. Let's, uh, what else do you really need to know? Um, I would add, and this came from a viewer asking about, um, uh, will they fit my thumbs if I'm a, a young person? Well, it doesn't matter because you can uh, unhook the uh, bender and put them in a thumb tip that fits your size. Now Eric Jones does say that uh, a 9 or 10 year old with this tool can bend coins. I would qualify that and think that there's real nuance here. I don't think a 9 or 10 year old is going to be able to bend like what you just saw me do with this quarter with ease simply based upon their age and strength even with the tool because the thicker coins are more challenging. Now if I was going to bend a a thinner coin like a nickel, sorry, a dime or a penny, not a problem. So, but a dime or a penny are much smaller. And from a performance perspective, you want your audience to be able to see the coin easier. And those are just smaller coins. So I would maintain, you know, and I don't know this, but I'd say like a 14 year old and up is probably a little bit more ideal based upon the challenge of uh, if you want to be able to do it with thicker coins. So. Uh, and the size of coins that can be more readily seen. Uh, so that's my thinking on there and a piece that isn't dressed on there. And I think creators oftentimes may not be as grounded in reality because they've been doing it for so long uh, and find it really easy, but may not recognize that it's not easy for a nine or 10 year old to bend that uh, piece of metal. You saw me, an old man, and still sort of uh, struggled for it to look smooth uh, in bending it and really requiring some, some force. All right. Um, I do think that those might be some of the key things that are important for you to know. Um, the price is $19.98 at Penguin Magic. Uh, it costs more at some other locations, but something for you um, if you were thinking about cost. I think this is a great price point at an entry level uh, to be able to do a coin bend um, for this tool because it costs several hundred dollars for some of the other versions of doing coin bending. So I think that's really good. I think this is great for mentalist, uh, the type of um, routine and effect that would be really, really great. So um, I think ultimately those are the things that are important for BioBender as we do a look back at an old product that now is priced at a level that maybe some folks might be worth considering. Um, and wanted to make sure that I brought that to you. So, all right, that's it. If you haven't liked, if you haven't commented, do so uh, at this moment. If you have the BioBender, give me your thoughts on what you think about it. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I get uh, one of these up every single week for you. Before you go to purchase a product, make sure that you drop by here first to see if I have reviewed the product and get my thoughts on it. So, all right, I hope these are really helpful for you. I appreciate that you're here. And remember to keep fiddling around with your magic. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.